Hello, my name is Dr. Gail Weber. I'm a family physician here in Ottawa and a global health researcher in women's reproductive health. In Canada, where I work, most women have babies in a hospital similar to this, in a delivery room like this, with the support of skilled physicians and nurses or midwives, and the availability of many medications and equipment to prevent and treat bleeding and infection. Death from childbirth is now a very rare occurrence in Canada. Only one woman in 5,600 dies in childbirth in this country. On the other side of the world, the reality of childbirth is very different. Over 500 women die from childbirth daily in Sub-Saharan Africa. Most of these deaths are from bleeding or infection after birth. The risk of dying during childbirth for a Tanzanian woman is 1 in 23. Death of the mother puts her baby's health at risk as she is both a caregiver and major source of nutrition for the child in his or her first year of life. While some women do deliver in hospitals, many do not have the time or the funds to travel long distances to the local hospital. Instead, they deliver in their own homes where there are no doctors or nurses and no medications to prevent or treat bleeding or infection. I propose to use the Grand Challenges funds to address maternal mortality in rural Africa. This project will be developed in collaboration with Dr. Sharangi from the Sharadi Hospital in Tanzania and Dr. Mark Walker from the Ottawa Hospital, who will be my mentor. Researchers have proposed that maternal deaths in Africa could be reduced by provision of drugs to prevent bleeding and infection. Misoprostol is a common and inexpensive medication used around the world to treat bleeding after childbirth, and it also works to prevent bleeding after delivery. Erythromycin is an antibiotic that helps treat infections from common bacteria such as group A strep, which often lead to serious infections in women after childbirth. Our plan is to provide pregnant women in Tanzania with misoprostol and erythromycin to take after home birth. This will dramatically reduce hemorrhage and infection. Of course, it will not take care of all the problems with maternal mortality in Africa, but is a key component to the solution. Please vote for this bold idea. These women and their families deserve to have a better chance at survival.